Now you use a brush method here. Some people just put it in there and do it like a tray of film, right? You this this saves sensitizer. If you're going to do just a small amount, yeah, this is handy because you only do a, you don't need a lot of sensitizer. Now if they were doing cylinders, they may have another method of rolling the cylinders in the solution. But this will give them an idea about how to. Uh, but basically, you want a full wet coat on the surface of the tissue. Sensitization time is going to be a little dependent on humidity and tissue thickness, but generally around two minutes is a good starting point. And we'll do two sheets, one with a squeegee and then one showing the roller system. This is a pretty wet coat. It's not like trying to coat a platinum print or anything. It's a See, I'm pushing quite a bit of liquid around on the surface. If you don't have enough liquid, it's going to get streaky. Yeah. I usually, when I do it, I do a little bit more, but everybody's a little different. How are we doing on time? We got about 20 seconds yet to go. This one you'll use a squeegee. You're not putting down a lot of pressure. Just a gentle pass. Let you get a hanger melody. In the, in the drying cabinet. Now you don't do the back side. No. Just one pass across the front gently. Now any small marks or stuff in there is not going to show in the final print or on the plate. And then we'll hang it up in our drying cabinet. all we do and that'll dry it should be ready in about a half hour now the second one we'll do with a roller system um, this was an inexpensive uh, made Chinese uh, roller system that is uh, used for laminating it has no machine no no electronics and no motors or anything uh, this one I've had for about two years uh, the rollers, we've left them squeezed down at times, uh, so they've got some flat spots on the rollers. It was my mistake to do that, but we're going to use a piece of plastic, which is actually a for sale sign. Just do this one for about a minute, Howard. I'll just go till it gets nice and flat. 
Yeah. Because we don't have any copper or any etchings, <laughs> uh, gravures to print here, so this is just a demo. But normally we'd go about two minutes on this. Uh, but any rubber roller system uh, should. Uh, no, I'm going to eat all those donuts, Melody. One thing you don't want to do is to pick the tissue up, drain it, because you'll then get streaks yeah, coming down it, and that will show in the final image. Yeah. Um, okay, that guy's nice okay. I purchased this uh, roller system for about $200 on eBay, and that does a very nice, there's a couple of little dings in there, but we're using that was dings from uh, the plastic not being cleaned. Uh, we haven't set up to use this for a long time, but uh, if you were to doing a long roll, a roller system like this would be pretty nice. You do want to hang them up. You don't want any wet spots or puddling or lay it flat. Uh, in this climate, it's very dry, although it's raining outside right now, which is rare for Santa Fe, uh, so it won't get too much. But on a real, real dry day in this desert climate, these will dry and coil up pretty bad. Now, what we do uh, for small rolls, Howard, can you take one of these down and open it up for me? Just show them how we... This is irrigation pipe that has caps. Oh, there's some old there's tissue, tissue in here uh, from probably one of my classes a year ago. Uh, this is Maddie's tissue. We put the name on the outside of the thing, and when they're dry, we coil them up and put them in, in these tubes. One end is glued on over here, uh, so when it's in the freezer, the tube will shrink and the ends will fall off on you, dumping stuff on the floor. But we, we buy these in 10-foot lengths, cut them to whatever sizes the students are using, and then we, when their class is finished, they put their sensitized tissue in there. And then where we store uh, leftover specialized gelatins and stuff, here's a tube in here that David probably did. We store them in the freezer. If they're in the freezer, here's another one here. Uh, if they're in the freezer, uh, they will last for years, sensitized. Uh, in the United States, we buy these, this material in 10-foot lengths for about $7. The end caps are about $2 a piece. It makes a nice way to store tissue. Uh, I think that is what we're going to do. We're not going to cover any copper. Uh, we don't have any copper. But that's our sensitizing method, and you would probably have to... Uh, modify what we're doing here to meet your your needs but I do believe that uneven drying due to puddling or uneven squeegeeing uh, or some other kind of thing would cause the material not to stick and, and, and be splotchy on the cylinder uh, we're signing off right now and thank you Howard this is Howard Effner. You've probably talked to him on the internet. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.